Chapter 2, Learning Objective 3, Prepare Trial Balance and Explain Its Use. While t-accounts are handy to help prove the accounting equation is in balance and to visually observe changes in an account during a period, they actually aren't used for financial reporting. Instead, we prepare a trial balance, which is a list of all the accounts in order of their account number that show their account balances at a particular point in time. One of the purposes of this report is to ensure that the total debits equal the total credits. Nowadays with computerized systems, there's rarely a need to print this report because accounting systems have checks and safeguards to prevent the creation of transactions that don't balance. However, in the days of Scrooge and Bob Cratchit, before the dawn of computers, the trial balance was necessary to ensure the books balanced. Here's what a trial balance would look like for Big Dog at January 31st, 2023. Notice the accounts are listed in sequence by their account number and there are two columns, one for debits on the left and one for credits on the right. At the bottom, we see that the total debits and total credits are equal at $27,100. Now that said, just because the trial balance balances doesn't mean that no errors were made in the original transactions themselves, only that each transaction balanced debits against credits. The trial balance also does not confirm that all items that should have been answered were actually entered. In addition, the transaction may be recorded twice. Any or all of these errors could occur and the trial balance would still balance. Nevertheless, a trial balance provides a useful mathematical check before preparing the financial statements. The ultimate purpose of the trial balance is to aid in the preparation of the financial statements starting with an income statement. Here we take our revenue accounts and list them as revenues on the income statement. For Big Dog, the only revenue is repair revenue. Then we list all the expenses. Now the order in which the revenues and expenses are shown on the income statement might differ from their order on the trial balance or numbering sequence. Often we list revenues and expenses in the order of highest to lowest dollar value to highlight to our users what the biggest items are. Expenses can also be listed in alphabetical order instead. Revenues and expenses are reported on the income statement to show the details of net income. Because net income causes equity to change, it's then reported on the next statement, which is the Statement of Changes in Equity. The Statement of Changes in Equity summarizes the activity for equity accounts during the period and begin with the opening balances at the beginning of the period and show the detail of what happened during the period to arrive at the ending balance. The balances for share capital and retained earnings that appear on the Statement of Changes in Equity are transferred to the Equity section of the balance sheet. The balance sheet summarizes equity accounts by showing only account balances for share capital and retained earnings. To obtain the details regarding these equity accounts, we must look at the income statement and statement of changes in equity. Here we see asset and liability accounts from the trial balance and the ending balances for share capital and retained earnings on the statement of changes in equity are used to prepare the balance sheet. You can see all the balance sheet accounts from the trial balance are included on the balance sheet the only item that doesn't appear is retained earnings, which is transferred from the Statement of Changes in Equity.